the word. So, um, this one specifically found in the supermarket, so I'm not so ambitiously hoping to create wishes for it. About 15 grams of sugar. That was pretty cool, six ninety nine. So, Masato and Chanel liquor store is definitely about between. <laughs> so, that's what six ninety nine did. So, that's a free answer for my first class. So, so much to talk about. So, sorry that I'm late. First and foremost, first thing I want to talk about is I definitely did a taste it Black Friday sale from Wednesday to Saturday. Um, today is the last day for the sale, and I'll be going to another sale next week, same time, probably more percent off this time. So, anyway, we're going to talk to you guys about Christmas shopping. Have you guys on Christmas shopping yet? Do you guys have all your shopping done? Have you not started? Do you know what you're getting? Are you going cyber shopping? What's all that about? And also, another thing I want to talk about too is the green challenge. I just did a green challenge um, on Instagram with a few people that I know, and it was really cool. Every day, you have to incorporate some type of green in one of your meals, and you have to tag a few people and um, share through your story and um, pretty much do that to win a gift card. So I know a few days I definitely slacked and wasn't able to post anything green. So. I definitely probably think I did not win anything, but um, let's see what this new saddle is about. Six ninety nine for the market. Let's see how this thing is. So the regular saddle that I normally get when I go to like the liquor store or to like Sam's Club. Definitely not as sweet, for sure. Definitely not as sweet. Definitely more of a bitter sweet or a semi sweet. Yeah, we'll definitely call this semi sweet. But one more sip just for true results. I can see it getting messed up off it though, but not as sweet as the regular saddle. So again, sorry I'm late. Here is one of the one in face time. Again, I want to talk about Christmas tonight. And I also wanted to talk about um do you need compliments? Yes, that was a that was a topic. Do you need compliments? So first of all, I've done no shopping. I have so many things to get. I know I'm going to be spending stacks this year for Christmas. Um, although people don't want a lot, you know, just want to get some of the thoughtful things, the things they deserve, and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm wondering how is Christmas shopping going to be this year with the pandemic and social distancing? You know, I guess people are going to be relying more on cyber deals and cyber sales and online shopping versus actually hitting the streets. But you never know. Um, definitely look forward to for my own Black Friday shopping, you know, to find out what I can get from me and my family, you know, as well as, I, like I said, I'm going to Black Friday on sale for so Face It Now as well. So Face It will be on sale from next week Wednesday to next week Saturday for the Black Friday sale. I have bundles going on. I have three different bundles. We can get a mixture of either milk plans, yoga suit head plans, wristbands, workout video, you know, for various prices. There's discounts on all of my case fix here. The three piece suits, the two piece suits, the short sets, the compression leggings, the head bands, the wrist bands, the head band sets, um, just about everything. Um, not many services are on sale, but most of all the physical things and products are on sale. So definitely, you know, make sure you look out for that. You follow me on Instagram, which is my first name, A Y C A T L underscore fit underscore now. So that's the show fit now at Instagram.com. And as well as Facebook to sell fit. So those are the ways that you'll definitely see those deals I'll be posting. Um, so far I've already sold out a few of the suits. I sold out of all of the solid black suits. I sold out of all of the black and green suits. I have a limited amount of black and red and black and burgundy. So you better catch these deals while I'm giving them because once they go, they go. I'm thinking about a whole different design for like case fit gear, cars, women, you know, yoga suits and power right now. So. I'm not sure if I'll be holding on to this book that I have right now with the two pieces and two pieces, but that's still up in the air. So outside of that, we're going to talk about what are we buying? Where are we going? You know, what website's going to be on? You know, what physical clothes we're going to in person? You know, what kind of things we're looking for? You know, what kind of deals we're looking for? What do we got to do? 
thing. If you are not even here yet, you know, you got to talk about this stuff now because if you wait for the last minute, you'll be in that last minute Christmas shopping where it's really crazy and people like fighting over last minute products on themselves and who wants to do that, right? Nobody has time for that. Sounds like this. So I'm not going to just, I'm going to put this down. I definitely have my dinner, luckily. I cook salmon, I have deep fried salmon, macaroni and cheese, spinach, um, and so many vegetables. So I feel nice and slow for that. I definitely be eating some food, food in my system before I'm stripping and drinking, because if not, I'll be totally lit and ready for people as soon as this video finishes. And sometimes, you know, I definitely don't want to do that. So anyway, getting back to topics, Christmas shopping, you know, is really a good idea to and, you know, possibly you get out a little bit long. If you have overdraft, you know, use overdraft, you know, um, to cut coupons, cut coupons, sign up for like, you know, Black Friday deals. So look at ways that, you know, get good savings on Christmas holiday shopping. If you have any of those apps like Fauna, Quad Pay, or After Pay, those are great ways to buy gifts as well because you're not spending a bulk of the money at the same moment, depending on how much shopping you're actually doing and how much credit limit you have as well. But those are good ways to, you know, get some bills in, get some sales in. Get the things you need really quickly so you're not waiting last minute and stuff like that. So, you know, those things may work out for you too, depending on the type of spender you are, you know, how you feel about those kind of things. You know, it's up in the air, you know, to each its own. But, you know, I've definitely taken advantage of a few of those apps. Like, I've definitely used Spawner for the first time recently, and I've used Afterpay. Um, for some reason, Quad Pay wasn't approving me. So, like, after the second or third time, I just stopped trying, like, okay, whatever, I don't have time for this. So, I just got alone. But definitely looking for those apps if you're really thinking about getting some instant um, deals or, you know, having the opportunity to get some physical product ASAP versus waiting to have the money to buy the things, you know, at the last minute, you know, if you can do that, fine. It depends on how much person you are. If you want to get it out the way, if you don't want to get it out the way, totally up to you. So I have this sticking out. Just where I have all this, like, saliva in my mouth for no reason, like, all these bubbles and stuff. Keep on out this hitting, hitting. Again, um, here again with another one on FaceTime, talking about Christmas shopping, um, talking about Christmas in general. Um, are you guys gathering? You know, what are you guys doing for the holidays? Have you been shopping? Have you not been shopping? Are you traveling by flight, by bus, by train? Are you keeping it close to home? Are you keeping it small? Are you not traveling? Are you not, you know, in the holiday spirit? Are you not feeling like giving and gathering, you know? Teach your song, everyone has a different mood, a spirit they're in, and they don't have to celebrate the holidays. My dad is somebody who's so like, nope, I'm not celebrating. Well, not that he's not celebrating, but he's not trying to gather. So, you know, each his own. You know, some people want to do things differently. It's a lot of Zoom going on today. Like, everyone's on MS Teams, everyone's on Zoom, everyone's on AC meetings, Skype, video chats, group chats. And a lot of these platforms are going viral, such as YouTube, for example. Everyone's on YouTube. Oh, excuse me, just that's that wine kicking in. Um, you know, so everyone is like really used to being on social media and online you know, communicating versus like being in person. So it's kind of becoming the new norm in so many ways, you know. So it is what it is. Low key, I'm super annoyed because like I had like a whole big screen behind me and I had it decorated with like streamers and 1980s stickers and everything like that. And it fell down twice. And like at this point, I'm looking at the brown wall like. We didn't want the brown wall, whatever the case is. Not going to be talking about this right here, but you know, just speaking about it because I'm looking at the stars at the top of the screen. And I'm just like, you know, I guess it wasn't meant to be because it felt twice, three times would have been a charm. So definitely not going through that. But I'm like, wow, I've went through a lot of effort to give a nice background and it totally didn't work out. And I still ended up with the same wall without the background. And I'm looking at the green screen on, on my bed right now. Like, I guess you were the teams I thought you were. <laughs> but whatever, you know, that's that. Um, getting back to the topic, so. Compliments, 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 compliments. Do you need compliments? What do I mean by that? How do you feel about that? You know, where does that come from? So definitely talking about lo loving, learning the love languages, right? So apparently there's different love languages. You know, the thing I love you to someone doesn't equal, you know, showing each other love, right? There's different ways that we allegedly, quote unquote, show love. And everyone perceives it differently depending on how they express it, how they understand it, how they need it, how they want it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And relationships will make sure that you start to understand the type of love language you have and you know that you need your soul. Same thing with families, friends, et cetera, et cetera. Everyone has a different love language. 
no matter if you're dating someone or not dating someone, you know, we all have a different level of growth. I say all that just to say, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of the day, some people need validation. Validation is in a sense of hearing someone physically, verbally tell them, I love you, or thank you for this, or this is that, pretty, or blah, 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 something nice, complimental. And if they don't hear that, they feel like, you know, there may be a disconnect or they may not feel appreciated. Some people may feel like you've got to buy them things, nice things, you know, expensive things, or brand things, or special things, or unique things, or different things, or creative things, or modern things, or just, you know, whatever. The list can go on and on and on. So everyone likes something different to make themselves feel so good, and, you know, vice versa, you know, as far as how they express love. Some people it's instantly it's touch, physical touch. They need hugs, they need kisses, you know, they love the intimate expression of, you know, making love, having sex, whatever you want to call it. Some people it's, you know, pretty much security, safety net, feeling safe, knowing that safe, you know, feeling protected, you know. So there's all these different things that, you know, people love languages, you know. Really important to understand, you know, what your love language is, what with your partners, you know, your family, your friends, see what they mean the most to you. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if they're in an understanding of a situation where they're not understanding, you know, while they're going through something, maybe they can recope and re-identify with, you know, support, love language. So I say, all that to say is, do we need compliments? But I feel like some people feel like they don't, you know, once they feel like they know their partner's love language, you know, compliments may not be an issue unless the love language is validation, meaning, you know, they need to be reassured for a week to be rewarded for something they want and get acknowledged and sold that. So everyone has a different opinion of view on that. You know, at the end of the day, it's each his own. Definitely not here to judge anyone. If anyone feel uncomfortable or indifferent or fight their tongue or insecure or negative in any way. It's a free platform. Again, that's why I do this on Zoom. So I understand that people sometimes don't want to be on YouTube or social media. And they want something more private where it's less people. People can't see them. They don't got to worry about, um, you know, showing themselves. They can hide their screen if they want to hide their screen. And, you know. They can be as interactive as they want to be without feeling like they're exposed and they want to be at their background or themselves or or screen recording the whole audio session or taking pictures of them and anything like that. So that's why I do this again to make sure that, you know, for those people that don't want to be on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, they have the options to say, hey, I want to join people talking about. And at the same time, I don't want to be on Instagram. I don't want to be on Facebook. I don't want to be on YouTube. I want to keep it private which is why I choose to only upload the footage to YouTube from the Instagram and not the, the Zoom, just for that privacy for people that are participating, watching behind the screens, whether they have a black screen or a digital virtual background, that really doesn't make a difference at the end of the day. But again, do you need compliments? So sometimes I feel like I definitely need compliments. Because I definitely feel like one of my love languages is touch. second one, validation, you know, knowing, hearing, wanting, you know, those expressions. So I feel like compliments are great. Compliments are like the little things that I guess people really feel like don't matter because actions speak louder than words. But I feel like sometimes those little compliments are so important because it makes you feel, ooh, ah, this person's thinking about me or they thought about this or they should get that. For example, I love iced coffee. Um, remembering iced coffee and creamer. That's something that I sometimes forget. Like, I'm a job iced coffee, but I won't remember always have creamer. So, Remembering to have creamer is something special. Those like little things, you know, or knowing that you're a spouse and, you know, someone can help you in that way, you know what I'm saying, without throwing it in your face in a negative way, like you're a bad person or you're just an asshole for being a spouse. We're trying to help you not be so spouse as a person. You know, those little small things, those things mean so much to me at the end of the day, versus, you know, fake diamond rings and fancy bags and stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, I definitely do want fancy things like, you know, big bags and, you know, certain kind of, you know, name and thing. We need to talk about it and it's just disappointed because it's really not the point of my conversation. So, anyway, thank you for talking about it. I don't think I'm about it again, but I guess I really can complain it was six ninety nine. so... But six ninety nine, I definitely feel like I got follow-up back, you know, since I'm not so happy with this bottle. It's called Mariello. It's a product of Italy. And I don't know the year on it, but it's 6% hmm, ABV, 
which means a lot. And that is water, sugar, natural juice, and fruit, citric acid, carbon dioxide, Italian wine, eh, weak as F. Never will get this again. But I'm going to chug that first cup and probably take another cup for my 7.30 Instagram live session. So for those of you who don't know, I do an Instagram live session at 7.30. Always do this Zoom at 7. I'm going to keep doing it that way. But although I'm really kind of thinking about, you know, going straight to YouTube with this wine and FaceTime and not bringing it on Zoom, um, definitely trying to broaden my YouTube channel and um, get more subscriptions and followers and likes. And I feel like that may be the best way to do it because people can converse and comment in real time faster versus on Zoom where there's no feed to comment back on. Although there is the Instagram, but you know, those are different platforms for different purposes. My YouTube page is more of a page that's more about me specifically, not just about the workout journey, not just about the, the eating journey or anything like that. The YouTube is about my hair, learning about, you know, how to do the basics, um, face makeup, you know, for, learn how to fill in my eyebrows, learning how to apply lashes, learning how to how to do a full makeup um, set for my face. And I'm far from perfect and far from done i still have so much to learn so um there's also a channel about my plant journey you know the plants i've had the trees i've had um me trying to like you know grow things from seeds such as fruits and vegetables um in addition to that there's um uh, you know information and videos about you know just wanting face time some things i've done with my union local ssu local 371 um, so the YouTube channel has like a whole bunch of different things outside of just the workout journey. So, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking that wanting FaceTime is sit there more because wanting FaceTime, you know, is an extension of health and wellness, an extension of the fitness journey, but at the same time, um, it fits into more about people getting some more personality outside of what they see on Facebook and Instagram. And I don't know, maybe it may do well there. And I'm thinking maybe I could probably go live there sometime too. So I haven't figured it all out yet, and I'm um, definitely thinking that, you know, it may transition from Zoom to YouTube, um, since I'm already uploading all my footage to YouTube from the Instagram anyway, like, why not just make that the main platform, or just transition it all the way over to the YouTube as one of the main sources of the YouTube outside of, you know, the various things I do. Um, also, if you haven't picked up and seen any of my Come Up Story shows on Facebook groups, Change Your Brain, those are definitely interesting for us to see. I do it every Thursday at 7 what, with the drug carry my father. And we talk to various guests about their come up and adversity and their businesses, most of these people are entrepreneurs and have full time jobs, or, you know, the entrepreneurs is their full time job. And we do an hour interview session and we discuss, you know, how they got there, the who, what, where, when, why, the, the past stories, the trauma stories, the struggle stories, the growth, the adversity, the full sitting roles, the good, the bad. We talk about all those things and we try to do as much as we can in an hour. And um, it's free to join the group. It costs no fee to be a guest on the show. You can definitely DM me or throw Charles Perry to try to be a guest on the show. That's really that simple. Um, and you can always see bits of snippets of the show on my Instagram and my Facebook. For the most part, I definitely always share like little clips of it. So those are the same of the things that you can catch up to see with me. So that's the come up story with Sir Joe Perry, Thursdays at 7. There's one on FaceTime. That's going to be always Saturdays at 7 via Zoom. Um, possibly on YouTube exclusively, 7.30 on Instagram Live. And as well as, you know, the regular workouts that are definitely coming more consistently since the holidays are coming. And this is the time where everyone is only messes up. And um, definitely we're showing those motivational pictures, those transformation journeys, um, and everything else I've had to offer from here there. So be safe out there, wash, hand sanitize, do a social distance things, you know, do everything you gotta do to feel good about yourself, not promoting you, get vaccinated, you know, because that's what you wanna do. So be it. We ain't here to stop none of that. That in the day, have a great night. Have a good weekend. Since those Black Friday deals, don't forget I'm having those Black Friday deals as well. Starting next week again on Wednesday up until the next Saturday, which is the actual week of Thanksgiving. I'll be having my cake stick deals on all my cake stick deals, as well as some new bundles I have up. I have two bundles: bundle one, bundle two, bundle three, as well as all the yoga suits, three piece and two pieces, as well as the compression leggings, the short sets, the headbands, the discounts, and the headband sets. So that's it. That's all for me. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm um, so here to have a good